Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Path of Acra, a deeply customizable traditional roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. Everything I've heard about this game has me very pumped. You know, massive character customization trees, everything like that. We got all these different choices to eventually look forward to, but for now, even just with, you know, one option in every row here, we can make quite a few different possibilities. But for the time being, let's just go with this, uh, you know, eh, let's go for warrior. What do we, what do we do with this? On entrance, summon a number of nomads. Summon nomads. On game turn, if there's an adjacent enemy, add poise, which is armor, block, etc. Okay. Interesting. So we could just, like, be a big dumb smack man. Uh, we get... What is this? I think we're just going to have to pop in and figure it out, right? Yeah, let's let's just get on in and we'll figure it out as we get in. Your journey begins. Try pressing tab to perform auto moves. This lets you acquire new powers. Your glory rises. Uh, you know, if we're going to be going for dumb smack man, ooh. Vigor, upgrading Vigor heals you to full life and cleanses you of all harmful effects, in addition to the huge HP boost. Strength gives us just HP, block, armor, hit, which is maybe damage. Minus damage taken. Just lots of beefy stuff. All right. And this... <laughs> and this is our talent tree? Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. Uh, On entrance, heal yourself. For skill level, gain armor, but and minus encumbrance. And these are just we can we have six points, and we can put every point spent in this. So I think we can put more than one point into each thing. Oh my god, this is overwhelming in the best way. Uh, I'm going to pause, look for one that I am interested in, and I'll come back and I'll say what it is. We'll don't worry. Over the course of the video, we will look through more of these options. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm leaning towards this one just for this first build, maybe going more straightforward. So this is guard, which is whenever I shrug off or block, shrug off meaning I check the, the question mark sheet. It says if you block or you mitigate damage uh, and you block off damage, you don't take any anything from it, uh, slash block. Theoretically, that will mean if we block any amount of damage or if we block it entirely, Perform a hit against two adjacent enemies. Uh, the hit damage is equal to our encumbrance and this skill's level. So let's put two points into it. Okay, so I think that some of these... Each point spent in Marshall grants you plus one percent pierce. So it, it looks like we actually had that one. On standstill, if there's an adjacent enemy, perform a number of extra attacks... Uh, against an adjacent enemy and apply poise. That sounds good, right? Just like that, going for a straightforward build that is sort of just what we're doing now. Wait, we can level these up more? Up here. Okay, I was I thought that when they were taken out of the list, they were gone, but no, we can actually upgrade them more. I was right. Okay, so here I am. Here is a, a Tuger, <laughs> which I guess is... Something we get from our culture. We get to summon a, a loyal Tuger. And this religion determines our spells that we get. So currently it's heal. Heal for 200, right? Just straightforward. Okay, so let's let's move around. Oh, my man. Okay, so we want to like... We actually want to just stay still. I'm watching my HP. We have 52 block... And we slowly get tankier and tankier and tankier. I think I'm like already giga busted. Imagine if we're in a spot where <laughs> if, if we're in a spot where our uh, tiger can actually hit too. Dodge, block, armor, chance to bonus chance to block, bonus accuracy. I mean that sounds nice too. Negates encumbrance. We like we kind of like encumbrance in a way, right? Don't we? It's hard to say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that one a go. We we got another another point to spend. So we don't wanna move. 
Okay, somebody actually was able to hit me. See, the, here's our issue. They slowly but surely could kill me. We're going to let our, uh, our Tuger get out there. Who is absolutely a god. On prayer, the Tuger gains 50 hits, which is damage. And heals 100. Okay, so when I cast my heal spell on myself, my, my ally will also get it. Okay. You and me, my boy. Alright, so I think we go to the next. We have one point to spend. I feel like there's no point. Heh. <laughs> no pun intended. No point to do anything with that. Okay, so now we we stand still, me and my pal. Oh, that was just straight up like... I, <laughs> I, I've created a build that requires no thought, which is great for, for the beginnings. Ratman Archer. Okay. Part of me wants to move up in their face. Get some more strength. Oh my god, look at look at him go! The tiger is nuts. Sorry, Tuger. On the ground you see an ice staff, a magic staff abandoned by a turquoise mage. Okay. So what what is encumbrance? If it's greater than strength, per point greater than strength, minus one speed, minus ten dodge. On standstill, deal ice damage to enemies in a three-tile range. Obviously, this would be instead of my... Yeah, it's inst it would be instead of my... Oh, we had actually changed the visuals. Sword. Um, it, So, our damage is based off that we do with our passive is based off of the damage of the weapon. So, I think that th this is not good for us, but it is cool as a concept. On standstill, deal ice damage to all enemies in a three-tile range. It's cool, but it's not for us. Uh, what the hell? You gaze upon the forest. You sense... You see an altar lit with sickly green flames. Ice beetles nest here. You will find a large hardened glove, a robe abandoned by a swamp-dwelling sage. I love that. Um, okay, so what happens... Every... What does the level up do for this? Per skill level, it gives you... Okay, all of that. So I'm going to get slower for what it's worth, but I think that's okay. Step one is just create a, a dumb just try and hit me build, and then I will be fine. Okay. I don't like the sound of ice beetles here. Yeah. I'm going to just let my pal go up there and do some murders. So I feel like I'm maybe not, like maybe not very resistant to whatever it is they're doing. Dodge armor block, bonus chance to block, bonus accuracy. I'm just gonna I don't know. I'll do it, I'll do it. So theoretically, we gain a charge when we enter a new area, we should do this right now. So why can't I do this? Requires ten glory. Gotcha. So we have new spells if we go for a glory build. Deal 100 astral damage to all enemies in a four-tile range. Two charges whenever you recite the Med Vohu. Um, deal 200 astral damage to the closest enemy. Repeat per duration of grace. How did I get that again? On prayer, whenever you apply a prayer, apply three grace. Okay, so like basically the more prayers we've done in a row. It's irrelevant for now, like where I don't think we are going to be able to get up to that. Withered Imp. I don't like the sound of you. Okay, but we're good. We're good, we're good. Just going to keep on healing on my way out. We're going to get hard countered by something. I know for a fact. You don't make a build like this and not get hard countered. Okay. Let's start our, our stand right here. Uh-oh. 
My Tuger! My glory rises. Oh, so glory is just your level, actually. Um, uh-oh. So here's the thing. These guys are going to never get in my face. So I have to come down and get them. Boulder fist, a large hardened glove. You weren't kidding. For every bare fist you have, 50 armor up. Um... I mean, I'm going to gain encumbrance, which could be good, like, by default. 15... Oh, and it also gives 30 armor. And some resistance to slash, blunt, and pierce. So we should get another... Robe of Ferment. Uh, resist... So do we have armor? We have a naked chest. On dealing more than 50 death or poison damage, remove sickness and doom from yourself. Well, it's worth it for the 10 armor. We kind of, we like being encumbered. Like, our speed is bad. The speed at which you act. You know, hey. Each game turn occurs at speed 5. So if we just keep on standing still... Then we, are, we don't have to... Like, we're not trying to act fast with our sword. We just pass turn, like a pass a turn, and we will activate our ability. So our speed, it doesn't matter, actually. It, it should be irrelevant. So this just means we get nice poison and death resistance. Hit damage is your total encumbrance times the skill level. So we could do more damage with the passive if we just put in two points, or we could look at something else. Fire healing. On hit, apply Scorch to a target. On dealing fire damage, heal yourself. Every game turn, apply Scorch to adjacent enemies. Scorch does damage over time. Burning ooze. Summon oozes on entrance. Apply sickness to adjacent enemies. On attack, heal yourself to remove sickness from the target. The heal is equal to skill level plus the target's sickness stacks does this count as an attack it says perform a hit I don't know if that counts as an attack or not on enemy death heal yourself deal death damage to two adjacent enemies hmm. there's a lot of wild stuff on standstill if there are enemies that live deal 50 death damage to yourself to deal damage death damage to all units in a two tile range on kill of a non-cadaver. I mean, that sounds like a no right now. Oh, my word. On attack. I, I'm not lo really looking for on attacks at the moment. Allies become immune to damage dealt by you. That actually seems... Like, if we're going to be going that other route, this is going to be something we need to do. For skill level, your summoned allies get 30 accuracy and, and 50 hit. I'll tell you what, I'm going to grab that for now because it opens up some interesting options later. And it gives my Tuger 30 accuracy and 50 hit anyways. And he should, to be clear, he should spawn again. It says on entrance, right? On entrance, summon a loyal Tuger. Should have healed. Great mound of skulls covered in moss and shimmering purple flowers. Oh my word. Okay, he is back. Kind of want to... Uh-oh. Bramble Priest. Okay, I mean, he's just a strong lad. We might as well heal. Wait. Entangle. We've been entangled. Minus dodge speed. I'm not great at those anyways. Deal five pierce damage on step. So we could have just stood still, I guess, for a little bit. That would have been the way to go. Determines max summoned allies. I feel like I... I feel like I can't have more than one anyways of this. Uh, Dexterity. I just don't need dodge because that won't be... It just won't be relevant. Sure. Mud golem? It looks like a sloth. 
Okay. There's some stuff going on on the ground. You got him, man. You got him. I don't need I don't need to help. You got him. Oh, he's dodging? Alright, easy enough. Next. What the hell? You get out there. I was blocking his path. This area seems easy. There's no no reason to heal, but there's also no reason not to heal. Okay, I'll let you get up there. So we have the AoEs on the ground as well. Gotcha. Just you and me, and me and you. So happy, my <laughs> tiger. <laughs> um, Tuger. Sorry, I'm not gonna get that straight. Yeah, I'm like I'm just liking the big dumb strength build. Uh, so we could get a bonus on that. I don't know. I could look at the AOE damaging thing. Where was that? Astro hunting. Teleport to the closest enemy on standstill. To deal astral damage to adjacent units, apply five stasis to yourself. Wait, that's actually wait, 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 wait. That's kind of good. We teleport up to their face. I don't care about the damage. But, like, teleporting into their face to do the AoE is kind of fun. That's kind of a fun gimmick. That helps with the fact that we don't have good, uh, good momentum. There's no reason to do it, no reason not to do it. So, like... See, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. We just immediately teleport into the melee range of the closest, you know, closest enemy, which could be bad in the future. Oh, God. So if we just wait a sec, we're going to teleport again. <laughs> okay, fine. The thing is, if we... Yeah, there we go. There's the teleport. There is the teleport. I, I think I've created a very, very strong thing. But I don't know if that's just how this goes. The slog astromancer gestures at you. Oh, pilgrim beast of hungry stars, my trophy. Uh, boink. Okay, hold on. Just watch the health. I'm going to get up in here. You pick up a vine scythe. Uh, 140 hit slash, so it's pretty close. Resist poison, resist pierce. Three encumbrance, weapon size up. Is this a two-hander? Oh, it can be two-handed. On hit, deal slash damage to the target and apply five entangle. Which means they might not be able to move away. Okay, so I can't do it while there's enemies here. That's okay. Next. Could have just yoinked their way up there. Serpent Idol. Oh, I'm excited to see what these fire gloves. On step. Irrelevant. <laughs> Say less. Uh, on poison damage hit, summon a serpent on a random tile. Wow, that is interesting. It's a, it's a weapon. I do like the idea of this scythe. Does a slash damage to the target and applies. So we're sacking a little bit of base damage from our ability. I think it's fine. But yeah, I'm I, I, we might as well just destroy some of this stuff. Because I don't think we're changing our build like so much that it's going to be relevant. Chimera beetles? I don't like I don't know what I oh, there's chimera chimera beetles everywhere. Desert Ruin, a brown and turquoise sash, a heavy helm, a pure emerald. Long blade. I don't need a. I don't need another bow. I don't need a robe. Blue and red leggings could be relevant. I don't know if I have a sash. I guess. Wait, where does that even go? 
I guess I'll move to the middle. Okay. As I feared, we are reaching a point where enemies are actually doing some scary damage. But the thing is, once we've started ramping up, we're good to go. But that that is the beginning of the end right there. What, what just happened? Seeing our HP actually, you know, go somewhere? Not good. I feel like we need resist, yeah? But how to... How do we get that? I would have thought that maybe it'd be under, like, willpower. Bonus healing. Bonus chance to recover from a harmful effect. Yeah. Just wanted to let my ally get in there first. Okay, good. These are melee units. I think we're just worried about the Chimera guys. Yeah, these are, these guys are nothing. We get, we just get to stand there and uh, and retaliate. I got two points. I could save up for something else, though. On step or initial attack. Nah. Whenever you're hit, perform extra attacks against an... Wait, hold on. Per skill level and per empty armor slot. Bonus hit total and armor. Uh, I mean, it could be good. Extra attacks use your main hand weapon and do not count as an initial attack. Perform a number of extra attacks against an adjacent enemy and heal yourself whenever you're hit. So hit requires us to actually take damage, though, I think it said on that. There's like a there's like a help list. On attack, if you're bare fist, nope. Per skill, skill level, gain armor and minus encumbrance, which I don't necessarily want. Heal yourself when you enter a new level. On adjacent hit, deal fire damage to all adjacent units. Mm. Vinokinesis. On game turn, apply freeze to two enemies in a three-tile range. Reduces their dodge and speed. Reducing their speed could be interesting. For skill level, minus one stacks of any sickness applied to you, minimum one. When you're attacked by an adjacent enemy, deal poison damage to the attacking unit. Being attacked by is not the same as being hit by, so that should apply. I, I kind of want to check that out. Let's get poisonous skin. That also has something to do with this here. Yeah, if I do more than 50 poison damage, I will remove sickness and doom, which could end up being relevant. Emerald Helm just immediately. On receiving an effect, deal poison damage to an adjacent enemy. So, that actually sounds great if... Oh, enemies are at hand. Ooh, do not destroy. If, um... What counts as an effect? You know, like, does this... Does this count as an effect when we gain poise? If that counts as an effect, we're in good hands. Uh-oh. We're going to have to watch that HP. We do have a heal. Just hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Did I evaporate? Oh my god, I thought I died. We have Yazata now, too. I just don't know if we're going to get teleported upon. Yikes. Yeah, we're starting to to fall apart. We should be able to teleport here right now. There we go. A pair of blue and red leggings. On dealing ice damage, half is dealt as... Wait, half is dealt again as fire damage. That's kind of fun. Less armor, though. And a little bit of... that. It's, it's interesting. It's very, very interesting. If that counts as an effect, damage equals effect stacks times 10. Temporary conditions such as sickness, bleed, etc. 
I mean, who knows on that? Okay, so here's the first time where I'm like, I guess, do I... Do I not heal? I guess I don't heal. I go down here first. Which means we are starting to run into issues with, uh, with the standstill kill build. A pair of heavy emerald leggings, a face mask, a blinding red. Sure. I'm going to let my ally get in there a little bit more. trying to I'm trying to teleport oh we have one more until we get to teleport come on there we go I didn't know if I should have tested that but there we go that was barely good barely good enough what does this stop so this is a poison damage effect oh my gosh my guy not looking good Ten percent damage dealt divided by inflexibility. What the hell does that mean, though? I keep on seeing it. I keep on not picking it because I don't know it. Oh. Ten percent damage dealt divided by one. Okay. So, I have, I have an inflexibility of one. So, that that's... It's irrelevant. Bonus healing. Does that apply up here? Maybe. Let my pal go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the hit for you. I would assume these guys resist poison. We're gonna want to use the Yazada. All enemies in a four tile range, so we want to like, probably go in, immediately, teleport. Two charges whenever we recite this means. Oh god. Okay. Just get in there. Get in there. Yeah, we have another tool. Mask of Blood. Ooh. These go with my uh, my robe. On step, remove Scorch, Corrosion, and Doom. Eh. It's worth it, though. It's just it's better than these because they just aren't anything yet. I kind of like my helm. Whenever you're... On being dealt damage by a non-adjacent unit, deal 50 damage in a path towards that unit. Wow. Uh, that's a very cool thing that's not relevant right now. I have one choice. Uh-oh. That's a lot. Okay. Wow. More. Uh, I don't want to do the Yazada again, I guess, per se. We can actually attack a man for once. Nope. It's just better to not. We actually are stronger. I, I was right. We are just stronger not attacking anybody. That actually was kind of our jam. Stand still if adjacent to an enemy, perform and gain poise. Poise applied is 10 times the skill level. Poise per stack at 5 armor, 5 block. So I could get twice as much. I think I want to save up to 4. I just have a hard time saving for things. It's just, like, it's just exciting to buy things, you know? This is absolutely our jam. Just gotta watch the health of my ally over there. Should have done Yazada first, I guess. Okay. 
good. Oh, that actually, the teleport was not good in that situation. I need to get down here to... I guess I don't need to... As much as I would like to protect my tiger, man, it's actually kind of irrelevant because I'm just going to get a new one. Sorry to him. So wait a sec. Oh, I actually couldn't teleport next to him. And I can't tell him to... Like, I can get in the way and force them all to just come to me. I just did an instance of a thousand damage, apparently. I got an achievement for it. Technically, it's optimal to do it that way here. Get in there. Get in there, you idiots. Wander. Swift Blade. Uh, on dealing more than 50 lightning damage, apply charge. On being hit, remove charge and blow up, basically. On initial attack, perform an extra attack. So, initial attack, I, I don't do very many of those. So I think we are still good with what we've got. The reason to go for that one would be because the base damage is a bit higher. Violet Tower. The Ratmen have raised their flag here. This seems... Seems good. An echo of an unnatural storm seems weird. Bugbear. I'm just thinking, like, who's most likely to just do physical damage? I think we run to this. It looks wild. Alright. We can uh, definitely do some Yazata. Or two. I can't level up my points. Okay, stand still. Gonna do some smacking. Oh, you dummies. Oh, you dummies. Why'd that teleport me away? That's just free to do. Okay. So now we're going to be gaining poise twice as fast. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. That worked out well. So we get to Yazata. Yazata. As long as we're going to be using our other spell guaranteed at the end, it's a good call. Hey, I want to be I want that spot. There we go. Goodbye. Heal up. We get the three charges. We have a bonus one point. I don't want to do the standstill because I don't want to get the teleport at the moment. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, that's right. We heal him even if we cast Yazata. I forgot. There's so much that I can keep track of here. And yet. But we got, I don't know, we got just such a nice build. Hello, dummies. <laughs> just walk in and they're just like, ah, you know? Oh, I forgot to do my heal. I think I'm going to just let my tiger go. No. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Okay, so we... Yeah, we... We, we lose the charges when we do it in that slightly suboptimal way there. I feel like these guys are going to be more of an annoyance, one would have thought. Um, no point. We got two. Um, we could just get another stand ground. What, what happens on level up? The damage is based off of the skill level. I don't really, I don't really care about that part. If leveling it up uh, reduced, 
the amount of cooldown between the teleports, that'd be a little bit more exciting for us. On block, deal astral damage in a path to one enemy in a four tile range. Also gain 25 block per. We could do something like that. On prayer, summon oozes. Yeah, let's just do it. So it looks like we have, um... We have just a couple more slots total. And by that, I mean, it looks like we have, what, one <laughs> couple? Like, literally just the only thing that's wrong. Okay. We scoot on in. We Yazada when uh, my ally looks like he's going to be actually hurting. Get in there, man. <sighs> Fine. I'm doing it. Sorry, man. <laughs> I am a monster. I am a monster. Yoink. Just teleporting and me. Okay, well, whatever that is looks bad. I don't have my teleport. Now I do. Okay. That was sketchy. Torch Priest. On hit, apply 7 Scorch. So is the issue per stacked deal 10 fire damage per game? Turn? Yeah, it, it's the... You do ramping damage. That's the issue. The Thunder Drake roars. Where am I? Okay. Oh my god. That was actually really tight. That guy was scary. We're not done. Aren't we? Oh, wait. Oh, no. Just It didn't look like that. the rest of that map was cleared, but it was. Ice necklace? Where does this go? It's armor. Gotcha. On apply freeze. On being dealt blood damage, heal five. Ooh, there could be something with that. On receiving an effect. I See, I'm not sure if this is happening or not. I think it is. I don't know. Theoretically, if it works with poise, it's it's incredible, but I don't I'm not sure if it is. You poison the Thunder Drake for 67. You poison the Thunder Drake for four. Okay, yeah, it's ramping up. If the if damage ramps up, then it should be working as intended. Five entangle. 67, 67. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not. I don't know if it's working as as desired. Um, I'm going to explore to the next, but it feels a little bit weird. We got through the Violet Tower. That was apparently something tricky. You'll find a bladeless hilt. Large red glove. Rhomboid. Attacks with psychic damage. Astral damage. I mean, I'm a little bit better at uh, taking astral damage, right? For every point in astral, gain 2% resist. So I have 12% resist at, at a base. It's going to be a little bit better to be here, I suppose. I'm also going to go for vigor for the like free heal there. Kind of reset things. Ow! Okay, I have regrets. I have regrets. Okay, how do I just get tankier? I could get that one. I just need raw tankiness. Or I guess I could just get... Um, if I upgrade something in the astral. 
we could gain 25 block and get a little bit of astral resistance by going for that. Alternatively, we could... Uh, on being hit, apply meditate, teleport the attacker to a random top now. On standstill, perform a hit against a number of enemies in a four-tile range. Number of targets is equal to skill level. Hit damage. Hit bypasses all defenses using your main hand damage type. That could be good as well. That's going to be four points. Am I going to live that long? I don't know if I live that long. Yeah, that's not going to work. I think we might be dead here. I'm trying to ramp up my poise. Oh, boy. Technically, Yazada twice, and it shouldn't matter too much. Good. We did it. We saved them. Does that count as a step? It sure looks like teleporting does not count as a step, which is nice for the poise. Ow, though. Ow, though. We are getting bodied here. On dealing astral damage, 50% is dealt again as lightning. Gotcha. Has a 30% chance to recover from a harmful effect on game turn. You have 90... Okay, so you have 90% Astral Resist. So the same thing that I'm... That means that I'm okay to deal with their stuff, they do more to me. This is... The game that's reminding me the most of right now is Rift Wizard, which is a f also fantastic. I'm really liking this, though. Like, I'm really liking this. Um, Man, the fact that I'm at one heal already... I think I just have to do this. Could have got make like maybe we'll get a level up here, but I kind of doubted it. Good. Let them come. I'm gonna let the ally go. That that that's great. A great sword enchanted with ice. So they are weak to ice here. This could be worth doing. On attack, I don't attack. Deal 50 ice damage in a path to two enemies. Unless it counts as an attack, but I don't think it counts as an attack. Initial, an initial, oh, any kind of attack. Can sometimes generate extra attacks. Alright, let's take a look. Perform a hit. God, the, the phrasing on uh, a hit versus an attack, though. An attack that connects on hit, an attack that connects and does damage. Free hits can be generated. Yeah. It could be useful since we know these guys are weak to... I think we just I think we just vibe the we accept that we um we did pretty good there on that that one floor All right, how do we do against these? Oh my god. My poor baby tiger boy. The good news is they do nothing to me. I got 3 I'm I'm maybe going to get to the point where I can do the 4. Stack it. Stack it. Clearly, I'm getting some kind of... Yeah. Stacking damage on me as well. Okay. Go. 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 Just get to the next floor. Okay, good. The bleed clears on the next floor. I have a sneaking suspicion it's just going to happen again here, though. But I think there's not much... Okay, we could go for the vigor and we could cleanse the poison on this turn. Vendi! 
Gain a charge when you recite Yazata. Do 200 astral damage to the closest enemy. Repeat per duration of grace. So basically, if we spend a lot of spells... That's pretty cool. Okay. All right, we're good for now, though. Void Kiros. Crimson Plating. On being attacked, deal death and ice damage to the attacker. Equal to 2% of their max life. Ooh. I think that's going to be better for, for this. On dealing more than... F yeah. Doing 2% of their max health is, is appealing. Because it's in addition to the other stuff I've got. All right, let's grab um, Shimmer Gang. <laughs> let's grab Projection. Perform a hit against a number of enemies in a four-tile range. That'll be our final uh, final thing. You may only have one Prestige class. Wait, what? The first you unlock, it becomes your class name. Unlocked by spending points in various elements. Okay. 20 in martial? Is there like a martial? Okay, so if I spend 30 in astral and martial, I become a Zahashi? Shah Shahasi. Uh, okay. I'm working on that one. Ow. 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 Should have waited a second to do that. There's no reason to do that as early as I did. So now the order is Vendi Yazada, Vendi Yazada, Medvohu. Yazada, Vendi Yazada. Yeah. Oh my god. Attacks with astral damage. Apparently, we don't want to do that. Attacks with fire. I'll just do it, man. <laughs> I just wanted to see it in action. Okay, we, we've generated so much poise at this point. I love that that doesn't count as a step. It's really helpful. That, that man's being rooted. He can't even get to me. I'm just going to let the bear go. He, I don't know. He just look, I keep on calling him a bear because he looks like a bear to me. Zoop. Oh. So we wait. And then technically... It would then be best. Come on, come to me. Come to me. Don't don't hit him. Hit me. Technically, we want to do that. Yazada, Vendi. Kind of. Okay, I get the teleport. There we go. There we go. I'm really. I just. I. <laughs> I'm really into this. Uh, robe of gore. On dealing damage to an ally, deal 100 blood damage to the closest enemy. Ooh. Okay. So we could... We can use Zada. And it'll be free at this point. Yeah, we're, we're, we're good to go. Big ol' shield. Compared to ours, 4... 80, 50, 40... Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah. Attacks area if two-handing. Oops. I will take that. I'm looking, <laughs> looking great. All right. Here we are in the tower. I mean, I want to not move. Bring it on. Bring it on. 
The poison's not that bad. Should have healed, technically. Astropede. Yet, my pet is no longer long for this world. God, if they get if they hit me with a stacking thing, it's it is rough. Okay, whoop! Teleports behind you. Nothing personnel, kid. Um, I guess I'll wait. So the first one I hit is what I go for. Whatever the first one I hit. Um, so I guess I want to be careful to not hit 20. I guess, technically. Um, don't need that one. This one I don't think matters anymore. I just... <laughs> I don't think I, I wish I could unlearn it. Let's go for the Cosmic Shield, I think. It does give us some more armor. Not the best of spots. Not the worst of spots. Okay, so we can uh, very much go for the heal now. Just take the hits. Accept it for now. Good, there we go. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. God, I hate... I keep on looking over at the time and I keep on getting upset because I know I, I have to go but I just really don't want to. Like, I'm really into this build now at this point, and just thinking about all the different uh, different options is crazy. The Tethic Knight. Oh, friendly teeth, beloved consumption. Excuse. Yeah, we, get, we can just kind of spam those for a smidgen. As, like, as long as we keep on going. And the second I look like I'm taking a little bit of damage, which would I would think be... I poisoned him for 1,700. Oh, my God. Yeah, the poise stacks. Yeah, the poise stacks. Yeah, the poise stacks kind of going. Taurus leg plate. Azumi Sash, Noxious Dagger, Azaris, Ice Gloves. Oh, man. Gang, I hate to say that I got to go, but, like, I got to go. I want to so desperately save and, save and quit. Okay. Oh, I haven't unlocked anything yet. But I bet you if I... I bet you on run end I would unlock stuff. Like, this is just... It's just the, the, the beginning of it. You know, we get... On entrance, summon nomads. It, it's equal to your glory. It also changes your starting stats by a lot. Whatever you pick for a class, so does your uh, culture. Resist slash, resist fire. Whenever you enter a floor, apply five attune. Apply plus five for every fully charged prayer. So basically... Five attune and plus five more for every attuned prayer. So for every prayer charge that I have fully charged up, I gain a bunch of damage and armor. Which, that was actually like a lot of the way I was playing. This probably would have ended up working better for the build that I had. This gives you just straight up new spells. Grant blood rage, cleanse bleed, deals blood damage in an area, heals and applies bleed. These just straight up give you completely new spells, and they give you new stats as well. This probably could have been better as well. Man, I... God. Yeah, I just... This is good. Gang, this is good. <laughs> like, does it have the simplistic visuals of a traditional roguelike? Yeah, but honestly, I find it kind of charming, and I, it's not it's not bad art for, for that style. Just... It goes absolutely ham on the character customization in a way that I'm so excited by that I really, really want to just play around with more and more. I, dang, I love this. I love this game. Path of Acra, pick it up right now with the uh, link in the top description if you want to check it out for yourself. I believe there's also a free demo. 
Yeah, there's a free demo. The game is 10 bucks currently on sale for 10% off. Uh, you can, so you can get it for nine. And there is a free demo if you want to check that out. But gang, it's good. It's good. Like, if you liked Rift Wizard, I think this is the next thing for you. Or if you just like traditional roguelikes, but you want uh, a slightly more modernized version, one that doesn't have anything to deal with, um, like, hunger values and stuff like that, I think that this could be really, really up your alley. Uh, just my my brain is going wild thinking about different build combos. Thank you for watching, though. Check out the channel. I cover roguelikes and more every single day. If that is the genre you are into, this is a channel that you need to be subscribed to. Otherwise, you might miss great things like this. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.